It's the voices. It's okay. It's safe. You're safe here at Onimart. You can let the demon voices uh, speak their peace. The voices tell me to lick where you cut the bacon. Huh? Because I bet it would taste like bacon. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the special episode of Geary's Kitchen. We're joined with another special guest today. This time we have Chibi Doki with me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm very excited to learn from her and I'll also be showing her a few dishes as well. Uh, so I think it should be really fun. So I won't say what the dish that Chibi wants me to make is yet. However, I'll tell you guys, I guess the country where it's from. So we're gonna be making German food today. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make two of the things. And then at the very end, you can teach me the, the, the one that you were gonna let me know. First question, do you like bread? I love bread. I okay. love eating flour too. Wait, wait, wait. I used wait, to what? eat flour until I learned it could kill you. So I don't, I don't, not, not anymore. That means you should, you're gonna love the smell that's coming out of my bowl of uh, bread dough right now. It smells <gasps> like yeasty and buttery. I actually made this bread yesterday. It was fermenting in the uh, fridge because with German food, I thought it'd be kind of cool if we paired it with some German pretzels. Um, <gasps> I have the dough. The dough is pretty standard actually. It's it's not that much different from regular bread dough. What I'm doing is I'm just rolling it with my hands into an elongated shape. I have it tapered so it's thicker in the middle and then it's skinnier at the end. And then you just bring it over into the center. You pinch it off so it sticks together. And then you pinch it off again so it sticks together. And then you have a cute little pretzel. Shape looks so pretty. I, we're gonna be blanching it as well to give it that like that brown shape. Uh, it actually doesn't come from the oven. It comes from a chemical reaction. So we're gonna do that later. You are kind of nerdy. The German pretzels need time to rest. So we're gonna actually do German potatoes. Uh, German potatoes is actually quite easy. So now we wanna turn the stove on to actually heat the water and we want to remove the peel. I'm kind of annoyed how easily you're peeling that potato. Whenever I peel a potato, it is physically draining. I have to put my whole arm into it. Do you have like a really good potato cutter? Uh, no, this is just pretty standard. What? It's almost like you cook for a part of your living. This is incredible. All right, so the potatoes are actually done. I boiled them in just regular water. There's no salt in the water because I figure we're gonna be using salted butter and also bacon in the German potatoes. And then now they're cooked where they're holding their shape, but they are fully cooked inside. So if you were to break it, it breaks quite evenly. And I actually have a pack <gasps> of bacon. The voices tell me to, to lick where you cut the bacon. Huh? Because I bet it would taste like bacon. Have, do you eat raw bacon? Have you tried no. it before? No, okay, I, I don't like raw good. meat. So you don't like your steaks like uh, medium rare and whatnot? Yeah, I I, I hear rare is really good, but I, I just get medium rare because that's how it's like the, the normal way to do it. Just watching you cook, I feel like you know how to do everything. Like even the way you cut things. Like when I cut like a piece of spam, it's like a 10 minute thing because I'm like struggling to cut it into chunks that are the same size. To be fair, you're probably using a butter knife? Yeah, I do. I do <laughs> use a butter knife. I'm trying to fit as many pieces of potato as I can in here. We're just trying to sear this into the butter. Let me throw my onions in there too. It's going to caramelize. Normally, I would have sauteed the onions first, but the recipe says to put it in like Hello? this. So I'm going to do it like this. Hello? I know you're cooking potatoes, but for, for, it looks like apples. Oh, I think it's because of the, the bacon fat. It kind of looks like <gasps> a cinnamon. Oh, yeah, it does. No, no, no. I'm gonna grab the pretzels that we made earlier. I'm gonna actually gonna lacerate it a little bit. I'm just gonna do a really quick slash because I think the German pretzels, they usually have like a little bit of a blister that opens on the bottom, I think. You can see how I split <gasps> it open a little bit. Yeah, a little, yeah. a little cut. So what I did just now is I have regular water. I put in a little bit of baking soda. And the trick to getting your pretzels to go from bread to pretzel is actually this water mixture. So the bread dough that I made earlier is just regular bread. To make it a pretzel, you have to do this step, which is the alkaline water solution. The more basic the solution, the better. And then we're using baking soda. Um, I think in traditional like bakeries, I think they use lye water. You actually can't touch it with your bare hands. Like you have to use gloves, but baking powder is a suitable substitute. And then you can actually just boil it in there. Oh, Don't wait, you're you boiling them. them. I'm gonna boil them slightly, like 10 seconds on each side. I'm gonna flip them over and then we're gonna put it back on the paper. A few moments later. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven real quick. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10, 15 minutes. Hopefully they turn out well, I'm not too sure. Okay, Chibi, now is your turn. Are you ready? What? 
Okay. There's only one last thing left in our plate of German food. Are you ready to teach us what you have planned for us today? And I'd be fully transparent with you. I didn't know I would have to teach anything, so this is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so I think step one, you take a piece mm -hmm. of meat, and you make it tenderized on both sides. So this is my pork, by the way, chat. I got I got some pork. Is there like a thinness we're looking for? Is there like a... And you want it to be a little bit thinner than you would think. You don't want it to tear, but you want it to be nice and thin. Okay, the pretzels are out. They're not the cutest color. That's okay. They're pale you know? like me. Let's go. <laughs> we have our bread. This is our pretzel. Is that salt? Yeah, I, I had a little bit of a kosher salt, like a little bit of chunky salt. It looks salt. pretty. I think it looks pretty. Salt. Oh, the taste is good. Okay, um, what is my next step? I think you have to put egg on it. How would you like me to put the egg on? I think you whisk it and like mix it in a bowl. You get it all wet. I can definitely make meat wet. That's what I do. So I have my egg ready. Is there anything else you want me to get ready in? Uh, I think in a, in a separate bowl, you put flour and you can season it if you want to, I believe. And okay. wait, no, not flour. I think we use bread. Mm, I wonder, it's been a hot minute. We use breadcrumbs. I wonder, do you still use flour if you also use breadcrumbs? But it's whatever you want me to do. This, 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 this oh, is no. your recipe. Okay, you have three bowls out, so I'm gonna say two bowls. <laughs> In separate bowls. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you hints. <laughs> no, thank I... God. <laughs> thank God. So if you want to, you can add like whatever seasonings you like. I think it's too, I think my mom does it to the breadcrumbs. I know, I don't have a habit of adding it, but I will add it. I'm gonna add black pepper. I'll grab black pepper. And let me see what I got here. I have coriander. I have cayenne. I should have some oregano here. Oh, do you want to do some dried garlic? Garlic makes everything amazing. Parsley. I have dried parsley as well, so it can give a little bit of green texture. I'm gonna do the granulated garlic this side. You're so fancy. It's you have so, so much. Like you have an entire jug. Okay, don't, don't, don't tell nobody. Okay, but um, look, look at the expiry date of this one. Only I don't really know how to read expiration dates. It says 062019. Say your lucky prayer that you do not meet her at TwitchCon, okay? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna be so embarrassed if anyone somehow figures out who I am. I will say hi, but you prepare to be humiliated by associating with me. Like you'll feel, you'll you want to take a shower after thing. you say hi to me. If anybody recognized me in TwitchCon, they are definitely gonna want a shower. When <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just viewers, remember, anime women find it so attractive when you believe in hygiene and wear deodorant. Yeah, li listen, listen to Chibi. Don't listen to me. You don't want to take hygiene tips from me. Yeah. Oh no, I, I hear you don't shower. I don't either. Like I, I, I'm the same as you. I'm stinky, oh, dude. For real, for real. Yes, no, we for can real. be stinky together. Let me go grab a plate though, because we can probably start plating and eating. <gasps> and I can I be honest with you? I'm yes. so glad you breaded the schnitzels without asking me because I had no idea what order to do. <laughs> and I was like, yes, thank God. She knows I, how to do it. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, but because we were having like we were having conversation, I didn't want to like stop it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Because so I was gonna say do the egg first. Oh, Oni, bro, do you want to have your plate and I'll show chat the one that I finished? The potatoes might be cold though, because we I actually finished the potatoes a little while ago. So don't deduct marks just because I have old potatoes. It's okay. But I'll show you guys <laughs> my uh, katsu. It looks so pretty. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I just realized we forgot to season the pork. Yeah, we definitely do that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we did that. So, Oni bro, uh, don't detect points because of the lack of seasoning. Because I would have put it in there if I remembered. So this is our finished like German dish. There's something important. You gotta squeeze lemon on it. Hold on. Yeah, you squeeze lemon on it, and it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, that's a my... big lemon. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna dress up my plate with some lemon as well. That is so funny that we forgot salt, like the bare bones. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the exotic. potatoes, and I'm gonna see how it goes. Hmm. The potatoes were actually really good. I'm gonna try <gasps> the schnitzel camera. It's so pretty. Mmm. I love pork that has no taste. This is amazing, guys. Uh -oh. You guys are living if you haven't tried pork the way that was meant to be enjoyed, which is bland. Mmm. Everyone, I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Try bland pork, okay? I'm gonna try the pretzel. This is the pale <gasps> pretzel. It's more seasoned than the schnitzel. <laughs> It's soft. It has the taste of a pretzel, but obviously it doesn't look like one. But not too bad. I'll show you all the pretzels that I did. This one has like the crack that I was looking for, just not the color. But you're looking for like that crack there. 
and here we have our completed dish. It was definitely a team effort. Chibi taught me how to make her German uh, schnitzels that her mom loves to make for her. And I also took the theme and I made German pretzels. And I also made some German potatoes, which is just onion and bacon and bacon fat and butter, all those wonderful things. Chibi, thank you so much for teaching me. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you had fun today. Thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun and you taught me a lot about cooking. So I'm very excited to retain this information, hopefully. <laughs> What is your favorite German food? I would love to know. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to find Chibi, whether it's her Discord, her Twitch, whatever it is, I will make sure all her links are available down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Follow Geary or else. <laughs>